laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy and laparoscopic rheumoid gastric bypass, the risk of weight regain. Uh, not surprisingly, I'm often asked in clinic whether I'll regain all the weight that I've lost with the surgery. I can assure you that that's extremely unlikely, but there is a risk of significant weight regain with both procedures, and I think it really comes down to how hard patients work with the two procedures to maintain their weight loss. And that's why I think dietetic support is so key, particularly in the second year after surgery, when it's getting harder to maintain that weight loss. So often with the sleeve gastrectomy, patients will talk about the sleeve stretching. They can eat more than maybe they could at the start. And while there may be some truth in this, the capacity of the sleeve may be a bit more than it was at the very beginning. It's certainly nowhere near their stomach capacity before they had surgery. So even if they are eating slightly more than they were, I don't think that's the whole story. I think what's more likely is that with time, patients are tending to choose easier foods that go down more easily. Uh, eating good textured foods with a sleeve isn't easy, particularly fitting it into part of a hectic lifestyle. To eat good foods, you need to slow down, you need to chew food well, and sometimes there isn't time for that. So there is a temptation to favor easier foods, more slippery foods that go down easily. In addition, without the side effect of dumping, patients can tolerate high fat content foods and high sugar content foods, which are laden with calories, and those sorts of foods will contribute to weight regain. That's why it's so key with both procedures, but particularly the sleeve gastrectomy, to think of it very much of a, a, as a tool that you have to work with the, for the long term to get the weight loss that you want and to maintain that weight loss. And that's why dietitians are so important. They're there to support you through that journey and to help you develop good eating habits, to understand which foods work well with the two operations to maintain good long-term weight loss.